Hi everybody. If you were able to follow along with um, video number four, you should be in a position where you have something similar to this. Ideally something exactly the same as this. <clears throat> so now what we've got to do is we've got to figure out a way to arrange eight of these oval boxes at the corners of our shipping container. If we go into our Google Classroom, I've uploaded a uh, document here that shows the dimensions that we're working with for our high cube shipping container, which is 40 feet long, 8 feet wide, 9 foot 6 tall. So we are going to start with that to create what's known as a wireframe so that we can snap our oval boxes to it. So we know that in this direction it's going to be 40, and I write down 40 and then apostrophe to tell it feet, not inches. Then in the red direction, that's going to be 8, apostrophe again, for feet. And then in the blue direction, which is going up, we know that that's going to be 9 foot 6 inches. No space in between. So the way you write 9 foot 6, you can see down in the very bottom um, right-hand corner of the screen, is like that. 9, apostrophe, 6 parentheses, and then enter. So I'm making these reference lines just so I can snap to them later. From there, I'm going to go to my shapes, create a rectangle, and then I'm going to push-pull this surface up to that height right there. Sometimes it's kind of tricky to snap to it. Eventually, you'll get it, though. Okay, so what we're trying to do is trying to create a wireframe, and a wireframe means that there's not going to be any walls. So I'm going to select each individual wall and delete them so that we're left with the outline of our rectangle. So here I'm going to introduce a new tool to you guys. We know from looking at images of shipping containers that it's bumped out here on the left hand side and on the front and we're going to estimate that it's bumped out about an inch which you can kind of see here. So what we need to do is we need to create reference lines on our oval boxes that we can then use to snap to these different corners. So if I go over here to the push-pull command, the third option down here is called offset. Offset basically means the distance between one point and another point. If we look up um, train tracks, the offset distance would be about uh, four and a half feet, I'm guessing, maybe five, maybe four. Uh, but the offset basically means just the distance between this piece right here and the other piece right there. So we're going to go select our offset tool. And then if, as I hover over this face right here, you can see that that red box is floating all over the place. That's the way the computer is asking me, is this the surface that you want to manipulate or alter or edit? So I'm going to click and tell it yes. And then I can drag however much I want the offset distance to be. But I know it's going to be an inch, so I'm just going to type in 1 and then enter. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom. Once again, 1, enter. And now I can use those points to snap to my wireframe up here. So I'm going to take my new object that I've just created, copy and paste it, and place it somewhere in space. Now I'm going to move it. Once again, the shortcut for that is M, and I'm going to move it from, let's say, this point right here to that point right there. And I'm going to copy and paste again, Control V, or Control C, Control V, and now I'm going to move it from the bottom corner right there to that spot right there. I'm not sure why this is happening, because this normally doesn't happen, but it looks like it deleted part of our top. So there's an easy fix for that. We're just going to go in, create some new lines to close that shape up, and we should be good to go. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. Control V to paste, and we're going to move it from that corner to that corner right there. Once again, it deleted that spot for some random reason. 
And we don't want a ceiling just yet because this is a wireframe. Let's see if I go back here and copy and paste the original, if that fixes our problem. So control C, control V. And it looks like it did. I'm not sure why that's happening. But we'll move forward. And then I'm going to move it from this spot right here to that spot right there. So we've got one side done. I could do that whole process over again, but a way of working smarter, not harder, is to select what we want. And remember, if you select from right to left versus left to right, it's going to select different things. If you go from left to right, it's only going to select the things that are inside the rectangle. And if you go from right to left, it's going to select everything that's touching the rectangle. But we don't want these lines selected. So we're going to go from left to right. And I'm going to copy and paste. And I'm going to paste this over here. And I'm going to go to a view where I can delete these lines easily. Once again, trying to work as efficiently as possible. And then I'm going to copy all those. Or I'm not going to copy them. I'm just going to move them. So I can go over here to the Move tool. And I'm going to move it from that corner to this corner right here. So now we've got these placed on a wireframe in space. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to delete all these extra wireframe lines that we don't need anymore. And then I'm going to select the pieces that I want. Right click, make component. We've already gone over making groups. Um, a component, if you're not familiar with that word, is basically just another word for piece. So if you look at your cell phone, the camera is a component of the um, cell phone. So that's what we're doing here. I'm going to make component. I'm going to call this oval boxes. I've already got one of those. So let's just name it oval boxes 6. And you can name it whatever name helps you remember what it is. Then at that point, let's see if I've got any shipping containers that don't have oval boxes. It looks like that one will work right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move it. So I type in M to move. And I'm going to move it from that corner right there, which you know is also going to be the corner of the shipping container. And place it at that point right there. So now looking at my shipping container, I know that those are in the right spot on this side and also on the right spot back here because I set it up with a wireframe. One of the advantages of editing a component or making a component is if I right click and I edit the component, you can see that it grays out everything else. So now I can go in and delete all these extra lines that were originally our reference lines that we don't need anymore. And I can do that without worrying about altering anything that's not the component. So that is the demo on oval boxes. After you've placed your oval boxes, you want to go through and clean up all these extra edges that we don't need anymore. Because keeping a good clean SketchUp model is super important.